Aside from a personal dislike for Donald Trump among many Democrats that borders on psychosis, what is it exactly that voters are supposed to be upset about? What exactly is going so wrong that voters are going to run Republicans out of town in next month's election? Perhaps it's the weak economy. No, wait, that can't be it. The U.S. economy grew at 4.2% in the third quarter of this year, more than twice the average rate for the entire eight years of the Obama presidency. U.S. economic growth hasn't been this strong in 20 years. Perhaps it's deep frustration at the lack of job prospects that has voters upset. Well, no, that can't be it either. According to the most recent data from the Department of Labor, there are 7.1 million job openings in America, but only about 6 million who are unemployed. Well, then maybe it's because those great job statistics don't apply to minorities like African Americans and Hispanics. Yes, that's it. Minorities are suffering. But wait, unemployment among African Americans, Hispanics, and women is at its lowest level since 1969. For African Americans, it's the lowest on record. Well, it must be confidence then. People just don't have a good feeling about the future. Well, except that they do. Consumer confidence, as measured by the conference board, stands at an 18-year high. So what else could it be? Fear of terrorism? Well, no, can't be that. Terror attacks worldwide are down to next to zero. So what exactly will voters be rejecting next month? Or is it that they want to vote for high taxes and low growth? You tell me, because I'm damned if I know. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetaxes.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter, at Paul Gleiser.